Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, live from the Indianapolis Health Plex. I want to thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, my name is Chris Lanning, Clinical Integration Coordinator here at the Indianapolis Health Plex. I'm really excited to come back today to talk about corrective exercise. Um, and so today we're going to be focusing on the core. So there's a lot of different theories out there, a lot of different things um, on ways and tips and tricks to activate your core, uh, more specifically the transverse abdominis, the TA. Um, and so I'm gonna be going through some helpful uh, tips to kind of help you engage that core and that specific muscle, the TA uh, today, and then also kind of explain why that's important for everyday life. So, um, so this will start at a little bit lower level. Um, so for those that maybe, um, they, they start their exercise in the morning by just warming up their back. Um, they're doing side to side with their knees, um, some stretches for their low back. Um, this will be some great exercise that you guys can do um, in addition to those in your bed in the morning and then at night and then throughout the day. And then throughout this exercise video, we're gonna be showing you different progressions for core exercises. But I wanna first start with the, the basic foundation for everyone today and just how to feel what the core is doing and then how to know okay, from this point, how do I progress my core exercises? So uh, we talk a lot about form and technique being really uh, important and crucial for individuals, um, especially when we work with clients here at the Indianapolis Health Plex. Um, we wanna make sure that you're maximizing the exercise. And so if we're just doing an exercise and we're not using proper form and technique, we're really not maximizing what we're doing while we're here. So um, again, today I'll kind of go through that educational with everyone on ways that you can feel your core actually working and then different things that you can use such as a resistance band to kind of help um, enforce that, that transverse abdominis, that TA and that core working throughout the whole exercise. So this will be fun. If you guys want to add comments throughout this video to things uh, that you guys have kind of questions about, um, things that you want me to, to work uh, through uh, with you guys on as far as corrective exercise goes, whether that's proper squat technique, uh, proper lifting, uh, proper activation of the shoulder blades, whatever you guys want to talk about. I know this uh, upcoming Friday, we're going to be talking about all lower extremities, so waist down, so uh, proper form and technique with the glutes, the hips, um, everything like that. So today, just want to dive into the core, uh, but feel free to leave comments about suggestions you guys want. Uh, questions answered, and we'll go over those uh, throughout these corrective exercise videos. So, um, like I said, form and technique are really important as we do core exercises. Um, when I always work with clients, I always try to hit on two different things. So, um, we're adding two different movements, two different levels. <clears throat> so, an example of this is if I'm going to be working the core, why not also work the upper arms as well at the same time, right? So, we're kind of incorporating two different things. Same thing with balance and strength. So with a lot of the clients that I work with, uh, they may have some balance issues, um, they're higher fall risk. And so we try to work through balance with them and then also work on lower leg strength at the same time. And there are ways that you can kind of do two different things at one time. Same thing with the core. I'll kind of talk a little bit about that today. And then with our lower extremity video on Friday as well. So. Um, the big thing that when, when clients come in to talk to me a lot of times, uh, they've tried doing core workouts, and what I find is that they give up sometimes too quickly, um, whether that's they weren't ready to do a high-intensity exercise and they just needed that basic foundation, that beginning exercise to just feel what it, what it feels like to engage their core. Um, and, and what happens is a lot of times clients, they end up giving up a little bit too quickly um, and then they don't want to go back to doing core exercises because, well, it was too hard or I didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing a bunch of twisting or I was just doing crunches. And I really didn't know what I was doing. So this video kind of explains the fundamentals behind uh, why we do core exercise, uh, where we start with clients. And then um, and if they can do these exercises and these progressions, then we obviously take them through that progression, make it a little bit more challenging, more difficult as they go through these. So. Um, like I mentioned before, the transverse abdominis, the TA brace, you, you maybe have heard about that before, uh, but the transverse abdominis, just to kind of give you a quick background on that, on that particular muscle. Um, so it kind of wraps around, starts from your low back, uh, the lumbar spine, goes all the way around towards the front. So it's deep to a lot of the obliques, the abdominals, a lot of the core that we talk about here. 
um, but we sometimes forget about it. Um, and so it's important to know how to activate the transverse abdominis, what exercises you're looking at doing to uh, prevent low back pain, um, because as that muscle axis kind of this core set, it kind of wraps all the way around, um, it also acts um, as that low back stabilizer. So if we're doing any kind of lifting activities, even if we're doing a squat, picking up a box or a grandchild, um, we need to use and know how to use our, our TA, our transverse abdominis here. So again, it kind of prevents a lot of low back pain uh, down the road if we know how to use it. So this kind of goes back to the theory that I talked about last Friday about proximal to distal stability. So again, when we were doing the upper extremity stuff on Friday of last week, um, I talked a lot about making sure that closer to the spine, um, you're nice and strong before you kind of move out to your shoulders, the elbows, the outer extremities. Um, and it's the same deal here with the core, the hips, and the lower extremity as well. A lot of good research is out there supporting the idea of prevention of injury if you strengthen your core and then strengthen closer to the body, the hip musculature, the hip abductors, the hip flexors that we'll talk about on Friday um, in order to stabilize for the knee or the ankle. If you're an athlete, this is really important. I work a lot with athletes that um, they don't wanna have obviously any kind of hip pain, knee pain, um, ankle pain down the road. Well, one way to prevent that is to build proximal stability to the core. And what we'll find is that some of the clients that I work with, um, the 70, 80 year olds, they know how to activate their core sometimes a little bit better than some of the teenagers and 20s and 30 year olds that I work with. Um, but, but sometimes we haven't been properly trained on how to activate our core. So today, this is what this video kind of highlights and goes over. So um, first to get started, um, we'll just talk about how to activate the transverse abdominis. And I'm gonna show you a quick trick that you guys can do at home. Um, if you guys have a resistance band, again, a jump rope with a little bit of elasticity to it. Um, but a, a resistance band is something that's really important um, to kind of reinforce being able to activate the core. And I'll show you why here in just a little bit, especially for clients that, um, as I tell them where their core is and what it feels like, and maybe they don't quite get it, um, using a resistance band up over top, straight up over top, will help out with that and force kind of what that core should be doing and activate that. So again, first thing we're gonna start very basic here today. And then by the end of this video, we're gonna really get to more of the challenging kind of core stuff. Um, obviously you can do even more stuff in addition to this video here, but this is the video for everyone. And again, if you go through these progressions with me here today, um, hopefully it's like, okay, I can feel that, I can do that and then we can kind of progress you through some other stuff. So we'll first get started. Again, you'll need a resistance band for this. And so start out on your back. And I'm gonna start actually without the resistance band just to get started here. Because um, some individuals, they don't necessarily need the resistance band, but I like to add it for enforcement again for that uh, transverse abdominus activation. So what I first have clients do is I say, okay, go ahead and feel your hip bone on both sides and then draw in a couple inches from your hip bone and then down an inch. You kind of find a groove right in through there. And so what I have people do next is, is go ahead and uh, bring your spine, your low back spine down towards the table. It's kind of like you're drawing in your urine um, and you're just bringing everything down. Also to kind of enforce this, what I'll do is I'll actually put my hand underneath their lumbar spine, their low back there. And I say, okay, go ahead and push down into my hand here. And that usually will help kind of activate what this transverse abdominis does here. So again, coming down, and what you should feel is a nice, slow contraction. So this muscle will actually kind of pop out into your fingers here. And I always instruct people, this isn't like you're doing a quick bicep curl. This is a nice, slow activation of this core here. So nice, slow draw in. Draw in, it'll take about three to five seconds. Draw in, feel that muscle contract there, and then relax. And then draw in, kind of bring your low back down towards the table. Draw in, feel that contraction, and then relax. Draw in, and then relax. If you are having trouble with this at home, this is where the resistance band kind of comes into play here. 
So what I have individuals do is go ahead and put the resistance band up over the top. So this is kind of a trick at home to really make sure that your core is activated here. So resistance band up over the top, go ahead and pull straight out to the side and then draw in. So this will really enforce kind of what we we're talking about earlier there. So again, pull out, draw in, and then relax. So again, these are nice slow contractions. Don't feel like you have to draw in super fast. Nice and slow in, and then back. Make sure you're breathing through all these exercises too. A lot of people draw in and then not breathe. So make sure you're breathing throughout these exercises. Once you get that done, what you can do is you can add a march to this. So you can draw in, go ahead and pull the resistance band, and then slightly lift one leg up, and then come back down. And then you can alternate, relax, the resistance band. So it's draw in, pull out, and then go ahead and lift your left leg straight up just like this, and then come back down. This seems like a very easy exercise until you start doing some of the progressions, and then you realize, wow, I'm, I'm really activating the core here on a very basic kind of level. So again, draw in, pull the resistance band, and then come straight up with the right leg, and then come back down. Let's go ahead and do two more on both sides here. You can follow along at home, so draw in the core, like you're bringing the back flat against the table. Pull the resistance band, then go ahead and bring the left leg straight up, and then come straight back down. Don't feel like you have to come really high up with the knee here. Just a little bit, a few inches off the table are perfect. So again, draw in, pull, lift up, and then straight back down. And you can kind of elongate these so you can pull, pull for a few seconds and then come back down just like that. So that's one thing that you guys can do. The next thing that you can do too, if you feel like that's getting too easy, you can draw in like we talked about earlier. Again, making sure that the low back is flat against the table. Draw in, pull the resistance band, and then go straight out with one leg making sure not to touch the heel on the table, and then come straight back, and then relax everything. So again, draw in, that transverse abdominis, that TA, pull the resistance band, and then bring one leg straight out. You can hold this for a count of up to three to five seconds, and then come back. So we're gonna do the other side, draw in, pull the resistance band, and then go straight out, just like this and straight back. So that's another exercise that you guys can do. Uh, the next one that you guys can do too, this, I love this exercise because it works on not only core, but also hip strengthening at the same time. So going back to my point at the very beginning, where you wanna make sure that you're kind of working on two things at one time here, um, you're gonna draw in, again, tighten up the core, bring the low back flat against the table, pull the resistance band, and then pull the leg straight, go up, and then nice and slow on the way back down. So we're kind of hitting two things again with this. So we're hitting core, we're hitting uh, low back, we're hitting uh, a little bit of the hip as well. So again, pull straight up, and then nice and slow on the way back down. We're also getting a little bit of the upper shoulder workout as well here. So let's go ahead and move to the other side. So go ahead and draw in, pull straight out, go ahead and go straight out with your leg, straight up, and then nice and slow on the way back down. Let's do that one more time here. Draw in, core nice and tight, pull the resistance band straight up, Nice and slow on the way back down. Again, breathing is extremely important throughout these exercises. A lot of people that would do these exercises, they'll, they'll kind of hold their breath, so make sure you're breathing, especially when you let loose of all these exercises. So um, when I, my leg goes down on that last exercise, I take a nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out before I do the next exercise. So breathing is really important here. Um, next exercise that we can do is kind of an, an add-on to what I just showed you. So again, resistance band, you're gonna 
draw in, pull, and go straight out. And then you can do a little bit of hip abduction here. We're going straight out to the side and then back and then forward. So again, draw in, pull the resistance band straight out, do hip abduction straight out to the side, come back, and then go back to that hook line position there. So again, pull straight out, out to the side, back, and straight back. So a lot of people, um, so bridges are another exercise that you can do. Um, so with all these exercises, you talk about bridges, um, transverse abdominis activation, um, try using with the resistance band. That's kind of my challenge here for you today. Just try that because a lot of times, especially with bridges, um, which we'll show you here in a little bit, a lot of people will um, actually use their arms to kind of help lift them up. You want to make sure that, again, that you're not compensating, but you're using more of your core to do all the work here. So same deal, bicycles. You've probably heard of those before for core activation. We're going to, again, use the resistance band for this exercise. So you're going to pull the resistance band, both legs straight up. Here you go, up, back, just like you're in a bicycle here. So again, the resistance band just helps enforce the core activation here. Straight back, forward just like that. So you can do up to a minute. If that's too difficult, you can kind of back it off to 30 seconds. You can do uh, 10 seconds. Again, with all these exercises, um, do it to where your comfort level is. So if this is the first time that you've really kind of been instructed on how to do just very basic core exercises. Maybe today you stop at the last one that I just did and you kind of work, you come back to this video and you start kind of working on some of these more challenging core exercises down the road. So next one that I'll do, you can actually take a pillow for this or a ball. So I tell people, clients at home, you can do this in the morning, just like the other ones that we've done. You can fold a pillow in half. Today I'm just using a ball that's a little bit squishy. Um, you can do that as well. So lay on your back. And you can put the pillow or ball in between your knees there. And then again, we're going to use the resistance band straight up over top. And you're going to tighten the core, bring the low back, that lumbar spine down towards the table. Go ahead and pull the resistance band. And then come straight up with the ball, squeezing the ball in between your knees, and then come straight back down, and then relax. So again, bring the core tight, everything down, pull the resistance band, come straight up, hold for a second or two, and then back down. So again, you can make this challenging by doing a couple different things here, so you can hold that position for, say, 10, 20 seconds. And then come back down. A lot of different things that you can do with that one as well. Next one that we'll do, uh, going to the bridges that I was talking about here a little bit ago. Um, a lot of times when I see people do bridges, especially my clients, they want to do it the easiest way, right? And these are all what all these corrective exercises, these videos are intended to do is kind of help you um, not compensate. So again, proper form, proper education, and technique on all these exercises are crucial for everything. Um, so with bridges, what I see a lot of times is that individuals will kind of have their arms to their side here and they'll use their triceps to kind of help lift them up a lot of times. So I, I usually tell people, try to put your arms across um, your shoulders or you can use the resistance band with this one as well. And they'll just go straight up, hold, you can hold for five to 10 seconds and then come back down. But again, you don't want to use your arms to help you lift and do all the work here. This is a core uh, glute exercise, hamstring exercise here. So again, tighten up the core, just like we've talked about with all these uh, transverse abdominis, these TA braces, tighten up the core and then lift. You want everything to be nice and straight. You want to squeeze the glutes, activate the hamstrings here, and then come straight back down. So we'll do a couple more of those here. So again, try not to use your arms, try to pull them across or use the resistance band, um, activate the glutes, draw in, and then lift up. 
So technique and form are super crucial with this. Again, we're not just lifting up, but we're knowing what we're activating in order to get the most out of these exercises here. Um, dead bugs. So this is another exercise I do a lot with clients. Um, there are a lot of different variations of this. Um, and so you can use a yoga ball um, to make it a little bit more challenging. Today I'm going to go back to the peanut butter jars. Um, so these are about two or three pounds. Um, so if you have some light resistance weights at home, you can use those as well. Some clients that I work with, um, and we're starting these, these transverse abdominus exercises, these TA braces, to really focus on the core here just to get them started. I'll just put a towel roll in their hands just to make it um, kind of unique to where they're, they're still uh, using something in their hands, but it's not a lot of weight. So um, again, feel free to try any of these exercises with whatever comfort weight that you feel like you can start at. So I'm going to grab a little bit of weight here. And again, all these exercises, whether it be um, the bird dogs that I'm going to show you here in a little bit, the dead bugs, the bridges, all the transverse abdominis, uh, marches, leg extensions, all that stuff. Um, you want to make sure that you're tightening up the core, building on the foundation that we started at the beginning of the video on. So, um, and if you start breaking technique, breaking form, you're not feeling that transverse abdominis or that core activating, contracting. You want to start back. You want to go back to the last exercise, master that exercise before you keep progressing through anything. You never want to jump through those hurdles with anything um, because then your, your technique and form is dropped at that point. So just make sure that you're going back to what you can do. So next one that we'll do, like I said, are dead bugs. So I've got some peanut butter jars here. And what I tell people is um, a lot of times, once you get into the rhythm of it, then you start going and then you kind of understand what needs to go back, what needs to go forward. A lot of times it gets kind of tricky. It's kind of a brain exercise here initially. Um, but what you'll start is with both uh, weights straight up over top. And you're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. Now before we do that, again, I want you guys to focus on the core here, because that's where we're getting the exercise. That's what the, we're maximizing the exercise based off of that. So um, again, draw in, like we talked about earlier, and then we're gonna go out with the right arm, and then out with the right, left leg there. And then hold, and then come back. So then we'll switch, draw in, back with the left arm, and out with the right leg. I always tell people to hold up for a couple seconds. Again, you can use different kinds of weights if this is getting too easy for you. Um, but this is one thing where a lot of individuals, when they go out, they'll kind of relax everything back. Keep everything up off the table here. That's where you're going to get the exercise as well. So keep everything about an inch or two up off the table. Try not to bring your heel down to touch the bed that you may be in or the table. And then come straight back. You want to make sure that everything's in a nice and straight line here. And straight forward, just like that. We'll do one more here. I like this exercise in the mornings because not only is it working uh, the core, but you're also kind of getting uh, that shoulder mobility and that shoulder warmed up as well by going straight back into that shoulder flexion. So it's a good one to kind of get everything warmed up. And that's kind of the focus with everything I do with my clients is trying to hit on different muscle groups, accomplishing a couple things at one time here. So we'll go ahead and go to bird dogs. So uh, we'll go ahead and go down to the mat here. I guess before we get to that, if you found that that exercise is too easy, one thing if you do have a yoga ball at home that you can focus on is doing the same concept with the yoga ball on the front part of the knees here. And so you can do the same thing, opposite arm, opposite leg, going straight out. And so in this case, this arm or this hand is pushing into the ball, into my knee there, and then straight back forward. Going straight out, opposite arm, opposite leg, pushing into the yoga ball, holding for a few seconds, and then straight back together. So that's a progression from the exercise that we just did there. And then straight back. So we talk about bird dogs, so there, a lot of people know what bird dogs are and maybe have seen the exercise before, um, but proper form, again, proper technique, very crucial as you're going to do these exercises. So, um, so start on your stomach and up onto 
the hands and knees here, just like this. And so what I tell people just to start, if you feel like uh, you, you have a little bit of knee irritation with this, you can put pillows down on the floor to kind of support kind of a foam roll, something like that, to kind of a little squishiness um, to make sure that you're not putting all your weight through the knees if you've had knee problems. So that's something that you guys can do at home, is put something down for your knees there. And what I always tell people to start with is think back to what we started with, with how to activate the transverse abdominis. So again, drawing in. So you kind of want to do this, and I know it's a little bit tougher because we're not on our back. I'm going to get progressing through different things here. So draw in, keeping the back nice and straight. What I tell people is first start with just the arms. So just do arms here first. So you can do the right arm, and the other arm here, making sure that the core is nice and tight through these exercises. Um, again, if you feel like you're rotating, as we'll get into here in a little bit, um, you want to go back to the last exercise, master that before you progress anything. So again, we showed you arms, so you can do just legs too. So you can extend straight out, make sure that we're in a straight line, and then straight back forward, just like that. You'll kind of move forward here so you guys can see that. So straight back, everything's in a straight, nice line here. My core is nice and tight as I'm doing these exercises, and I'm going straight back. Then after you do upper body and then lower body, you can mix the, the two together here. Again, focus on keeping that core nice and tight, and we'll do the same thing as we did with the dead bugs, opposite arm, opposite leg here. So we'll start with the right arm and the left leg to so extend both straight out, Keep in a nice straight line and then come straight forward. We'll do it on the other side here. Straight out, nice straight line there. What I see people do a lot of times is um, they'll like to twist. They'll like to twist. Um, you want to keep the core nice and tight, not move the hip or the pelvis very much here, but keep everything nice and straight down towards the floor. If you feel like doing the opposite arm, opposite leg, going straight back is too easy you can add in touching the elbow to the knee and then straight out again and you can hold all these exercises you'll find that as you hold all these core exercises and go do these nice and slow instead of doing them really fast sometimes that'll allow you to really um, understand how you're activating your core a little bit more so um, i always start nice and slow you can move them a little bit quicker if you want to a little bit more higher intensity with these exercises. I always like to start nice and slow for beginners, especially if you're just learning how to activate your core. Um, other thing that you can do too, is you can do, you can grab a chair and you can do what we just did here. So grab a resistance band and you're gonna hold it up over top. This is mainly used in this case um, so that you're not pulling onto the chair or anything like that. It's also kind of worked on a little bit of shoulder mobility. You're able to squeeze up top and you're gonna lift both legs. So the only thing on the chair right now is my, my butt right now. So you're gonna lift straight up and do some marches in the chair. So I'm squeezing up over top with the resistance band. I'm going straight up with my knees here. Again, I'm focusing on the core. So the core is nice and tight. That's where you're gonna feel a lot of the exercise here as well. You kind of bring the knees up a little bit further. You can also do both legs at one time. You go up, squeeze, and then straight back down. Up, squeeze, really working on, on the abdominals here. But the big thing is that um, my back is out. It's not straight up against the back, rest of the chair there. I'm kind of towards the edge of the chair and I'm going straight up, activating the core, really drawing in throughout that exercise. So those are some tricks today um, on some core exercises. Um, again, this is kind of a foundational level, um, really focusing on that corrective exercise component. Um, if there's any questions that you guys have or any comments, please feel free to leave those in the comments section. On Friday, we'll be talking about lower legs um, and just talking about hip strengthening, a quad, hamstring strengthening, hip strengthening, that kind of stuff. But again, important to focus on proper form and proper technique. So 
thank you guys for joining me here today. Um, it's been wonderful, and I'm super excited to see all the, the members when you guys come back. I'm um, gonna miss you guys here. And same challenge as last time. In the comment section, you can put these two, uh, three things that you're thankful for, or that you're blessed for, um, that you're excited about maybe coming back to the Indianapolis Health Flex, uh, someone that you're excited about seeing, um, an exercise that you guys love that um, maybe you're not able to do at home, that you're only able to do here at the Indianapolis Health Flex. So write that in the comment section. Love you guys, and we'll see you back Friday. Thanks.